We have talked about plenty of terrible forms, but now we get into the death of nostalgia and talk about terrible forms that not from Rainbow Super and isn't called Fall Super Thing. In fact, I think I like the idea of the form. Gohan being able to access all his powers to their limit without needing to transform. And this is a huge advantage if you think about it. Gohan doesn't need to waste uh, time transforming and it saves lots of stamina. Why must the Super Saiyan 2 when you can just surpass it by staying in base form? This is pretty cool and many animes replicated the idea of tossing up obtain power ups and focus on the basic to get more out of yourself. Uh, thinking from the top of my head is Dangai Bankai Ichigo from Bleach or Tsuna from KTQ Hitman Reborn in his final form where he destroys his upgraded gear. And uh, you may be wondering, why would you call that a disappointment? And this is one of Gohan's big moments after all. He came on Boo and humiliated him. Am I going to call it bad because he lost it? Uh, lost against Boo? The problem isn't the power itself. It is not even the fight. And that Gohan lost. While I think Gohan should have finished Boo, I don't. I don't like him to win this way. There are a few factors about this mystic form that didn't set with me well and how the bull arc is written. If you know I think the bull arc is pretty shit. So I will ramble a bit. Uh, the bull saga started by establishing that Gohan got nerfed to the point he is weaker than Vegeta prior to him getting his babity fix already. We know nothing about Vegeta's strength except that he too mastered Super Saiyan and can go Super Saiyan 2. Completely enraged, he fails to defeat Fat Boo. And so far, DBC established a relationship between Beetle and Gohan, and the anime it was better because the anime is better than the manga. Leading to a tournament, we are constantly told how weak Gohan is, we see Weedle get beat up, how Gohan gets ambushed and his energy stolen, while Goku is ranked as somebody Gohan has to live up to. Gohan fails to beat Dabra, he fails to kill Boo, because he's lagged off. It felt like Toriyama set up the tools for a good character arc and to win us back by working on his power. So we get the Z sword, he introduced a legendary sword that is insanely heavy. I wasn't sure what to expect. Maybe it could have uh, negated Boo's abilities somehow. Meh. At least Gohan did something. But the blade broke and freed a Kaishin from 15 generations. And here we are where the problem starts. Oh, whoa, whoa. He has the ability to not av only awaken Gohan's hidden p powers, but increase them above their limit. Just need to wait 24 hours, except it was even much short. And then Gohan banned and we know the rest. So why is it a problem if Gohan has his power awakened? It already It's already in him, right? Yes, but he didn't Ha learned to harvest them on his own. He just waited until the plot demanded that he can fight. For such a great power up, you would think that he has something, he has to do something proactive. Sure, sitting and doing nothing is a challenge to, for everyone, but he isn't meditating or anything, he just sits while some old dude dances and reads magazines. But Gohan got plenty of free power-ups, why is it now a problem? Uh, because it happens so often. Saiyans already get stronger by fighting, they get Sankai's from heavy injured in battle. The Saiyans can transform into more powerful forms. Gohan gets a massive rage boost. And 
he can awake he already awakened his power by goo. Now he gets another power up. Toyama did this way too many times. Now with that he went to fight Boo with his father's outfit and got his ass kicked. Well, first he kicked Boo's ass. But that didn't sit well with me. Uh, this isn't how Gohan acts. He is awfully cookie, cocky like Goku and Vegeta. It felt like he learned nothing from his fight against Cell. I feel <coughs> Toyama himself felt the same way and let Gohan just get absorbed. There was no payoff. He didn't see Chi Chi or Brittle die. There was no one shot scene where he seemed. There was one shot scene where he seemed mad while waiting for his power up to finish, but that's it. He didn't learn to understand his power, he didn't get personally invested enough, he didn't earn the means to win. The power up of the elder Kaishin has also never been used besides some Gohan. And what I think that not everyone has the same potential as Gohan, I feel a lot of characters could have gained that power in case like another threat like Boo appears. The last thing that this power up is treated by the fan base, by video games, and now by Dragon Ball Super as a transformation. That means it's no different from the other forms Gohan used. Gohan gains a bang whenever he uh, uses his mystic powers. It's just a black haired Super Saiyan as if it's some kind of form above Super Saiyan 3. Really dumb, at least in Dragon Ball Super, but Dragon Ball Super is written by fanfiction level writers, so what to expect. He trained one day with Piccolo, gained his original power back, and then rivaled Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. Obviously people will excuse it with ultimate perfectly key control or some bullshit. But what do you think about Ultimate Gohan? Should he got the finishing blow on Boo? Well, tell me in the comments below.